Let's ask ChatGPT about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and lithium-ion battery vehicles in detail. I asked ChatGPT a question and got an answer. For some questions, ChatGPT sometimes gives answers with little correlation and sometimes slightly different opinions when asked multiple times. Some answers agree with my opinion, and there are differences. As you all know, ChatGPT has not learned the latest material in 2021. Because it is an artificial intelligence test, questions and answers were made using Amazon's text-to-speech service. The question is a female voice, and the answer is a male voice. Let's start with the first question. First question. Which is better a hydrogen car, an electric car, or a gas car? It depends on several factors, including personal preferences, driving habits, and availability of charging infrastructure. Electric cars are typically more efficient and have lower emissions compared to gasoline cars, especially if the electricity used to charge the battery is generated from renewable sources. They also offer quick and convenient charging, and are usually very quiet and smooth to drive. However, the range of electric cars is limited compared to gasoline cars, and long-distance travel may require more planning and time for charging. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles offer longer range and faster refueling than electric cars, and the hydrogen can be produced from renewable sources, making them a zero emissions option. However, the current hydrogen infrastructure is limited, and producing and storing hydrogen is still more expensive than producing and storing electricity. Gasoline cars are widely available and have well-established refueling infrastructure, making them a convenient choice for many people. They also offer longer range and more horsepower compared to electric cars, but they emit greenhouse gases and other pollutants, and their fuel efficiency is typically lower than electric cars. Ultimately, the best option will depend on individual needs and priorities. Second question. Which automakers are developing hydrogen fuel cell vehicles? Several automakers are developing hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, including Toyota, Hyundai, Honda, General Motors, and BMW. Third question. Can you say that a lithium battery car is more efficient than a hydrogen fuel cell car when making and transporting electricity in an eco-friendly way from far away? No, it is not accurate to say that one technology is inherently more efficient than the other when considering the entire energy chain, including production and transportation of energy sources. Both lithium-ion batteries and hydrogen fuel cells have advantages and disadvantages in terms of energy efficiency and environmental impact, and the most appropriate technology will depend on specific circumstances, such as the availability of renewable energy sources and the distance of transport required. For example, the production of lithium-ion batteries requires a lot of energy and resources, and the process can be environmentally harmful if the energy used is not generated from renewable sources. On the other hand, the production of hydrogen fuel often involves emissions-intensive processes, but can be made more environmentally friendly through the use of renewable energy sources. Ultimately, the efficiency and environmental impact of either technology will depend on a number of factors, including the energy source used for production, the infrastructure for transportation and distribution, and the vehicle design itself. Similar to the third question, Let's compare the efficiency of a lithium battery car and a hydrogen fuel cell car considering the loss of transporting green electricity. Both lithium battery electric vehicles, BEVs, and hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, FCFs, can be considered environmentally friendly if the energy used to produce their fuel or charge their batteries is derived from renewable sources. In terms of efficiency, BEVs typically have a higher energy conversion efficiency, meaning more of the energy stored in the battery is used to power the vehicle. On the other hand, FCFs have the advantage of being able to refuel more quickly and having a longer driving range compared to BEVs, making them more convenient for long-distance travel. Transportation losses can occur during the delivery of both hydrogen and electricity to fueling or charging stations. For hydrogen, the losses can occur during the production, storage, and transportation of hydrogen. For electricity, the losses can occur during transmission and distribution. These losses will vary depending on the specific infrastructure and processes in place. In conclusion, the efficiency of a lithium battery car or a hydrogen fuel cell car will depend on many factors, including the efficiency of the vehicle, the source of energy used to power the vehicle, and the infrastructure in place for producing and delivering that energy. Fourth question. Can we make airplanes or ships using lithium-ion batteries? Yes, it is possible to make airplanes and ships using lithium-ion batteries. However, the use of these batteries is limited by their weight, size, and energy density compared to traditional fossil fuels. Currently, 
lithium-ion batteries are mainly used as auxiliary power units in some small aircraft and as backup power sources on ships, but they are not yet widely used as the primary source of energy for these modes of transportation. The development of lighter, more energy-dense batteries is ongoing, and as these batteries become available, it is likely that their use in aviation and maritime transportation will increase. Fifth question. Compare the energy density of hydrogen and lithium-ion batteries, fossil fuels. First answer. Energy density refers to the amount of energy stored in a given mass or volume. In terms of mass, hydrogen has a low energy density compared to fossil fuels and lithium-ion batteries. For example, 1 kilogram of hydrogen has about 33 kilowatt-hours of energy, while 1 kilogram of gasoline has about 47 kilowatt-hours of energy. However, when hydrogen is stored in high-pressure tanks, its energy density by volume can be much higher than that of gasoline or diesel. Lithium-ion batteries have a much higher energy density by both mass and volume compared to hydrogen. One kilogram of lithium-ion battery cells can store about 120 kilowatt-hours of energy, which is about three to four times more than the same mass of hydrogen. Additionally, the compact design of lithium-ion batteries makes them a popular choice for portable electronic devices and electric vehicles. It is worth noting that the comparison of energy density is just one aspect of evaluating different energy storage technologies, and factors such as cost, safety, and sustainability also play a significant role in determining their viability and practicality. Second answer. The energy density of different energy storage technologies is typically measured in terms of its energy per unit of weight, watt-hour per kilogram, or volume, watt-hour per liter. In comparison, Hydrogen has a lower energy density compared to lithium-ion batteries or fossil fuels. The energy density of hydrogen stored in high-pressure tanks is around 0.1 to 0.3 watt-hours per kilogram, while that of lithium-ion batteries is around 0.1 to 0.2 watt-hours per kilogram. Fossil fuels such as gasoline have much higher energy density compared to either hydrogen or lithium-ion batteries. The energy density of gasoline is around 11 to 12 kilowatt-hours per liter. It's worth noting that the above comparison is based on the stored energy and doesn't take into account the energy required for the production, transportation and use of the fuel or battery. Third answer. The energy density of hydrogen and lithium-ion batteries is lower than that of fossil fuels. The energy density of hydrogen is about 33 to 40 kilowatt-hours per kilogram, while that of lithium-ion batteries is around 100 to 265 kilowatt-hours per kilogram. On the other hand, the energy density of fossil fuels like gasoline and diesel is around 12,000 to 13,000 kilowatt hours per kilogram. However, it's important to note that, the energy density of batteries is improving over time, and hydrogen fuel cells have the potential to be much more efficient in terms of energy density, with the development of advanced storage methods like metal hydrides and nanomaterials. Fourth answer. The energy density of hydrogen and lithium-ion batteries is lower compared to fossil fuels. Hydrogen has an energy density of approximately 39 kilowatt-hours per kilogram, while lithium-ion batteries have an energy density ranging from 90 to 265 kilowatt-hours per kilogram, depending on the specific design and chemistry used. In comparison, fossil fuels have much higher energy densities. For example, gasoline has an energy density of around 13 kilowatt-hours per liter, roughly 130 kilowatt-hours per kilogram, while diesel has an energy density of about 11 kilowatt-hours per liter, roughly 130 kilowatt hours per kilogram. So, while hydrogen and lithium ion batteries have the advantage of being cleaner and renewable sources of energy, they currently have a lower energy density compared to fossil fuels. Fifth answer. The energy density of hydrogen and lithium ion batteries is much lower compared to fossil fuels. Lithium ion batteries have an energy density of around 100 to 265 watt hours per kilogram whereas hydrogen has an energy density of about 33 kilowatt-hours per kilogram when stored as a gas and about 141 kilowatt-hours per kilogram when stored as a liquid. In comparison, fossil fuels such as gasoline and diesel have energy densities of around 44 to 47 megajoules per kilogram, 12,000 to 13,000 watt-hours per kilogram. This means that for a given volume or weight, fossil fuels contain much more energy than hydrogen or lithium-ion batteries. However, it's worth noting that other factors, such as the ease of storing and transporting hydrogen, the impact of the extraction and use of fossil fuels on the environment, and the efficiency of converting stored energy into useful work, also play a role in determining the practicality and sustainability of different energy sources. Sixth answer. The energy density of various fuels and batteries can be compared as follows. Hydrogen. Hydrogen has an energy density of around 33 to 41 kilowatt hours per kilogram. 
Lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries have an energy density of around 0.5 to 0.7 kilowatt hours per kilogram. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, such as gasoline and diesel, have a much higher energy density, around 45 to 55 kilowatt hours per kilogram. It's worth noting that these are just approximate values, and actual energy densities can vary widely depending on the specific fuel or battery being considered. However, this comparison illustrates that, in terms of energy density, fossil fuels still outperform both hydrogen and lithium ion batteries. Seventh answer. The energy density of hydrogen is lower compared to fossil fuels but higher compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. Fossil fuels such as gasoline have a high energy density of about 11 to 12 kilowatt hours per kilogram. Lithium ion batteries have an energy density of around 0.5 to 0.7 kilowatt hours per kilogram, while hydrogen has an energy density of around 0.3 to half a kilowatt hour per kilogram. This means that while hydrogen is not as energy dense as fossil fuels, it has the advantage of being a clean fuel source and emitting only water when used in a fuel cell. ChatGPT gives different answers to the last fifth question seven times. Various sources give other answers. The energy density of hydrogen varies greatly depending on the storage device and pressure. However, it is incorrect to state that the energy density of lithium-ion batteries is between 0.2 and 265 kilowatt hours per kilogram. If you look closely, it is judged that 265 watt hours per kilogram was incorrectly marked as 265 kilowatt hours per kilogram in some materials, and that it was quoted to indicate the wrong opinion. It would have been nice to have filtered out the wrong data. The answers to the fifth question have many wrong conclusions because the unit of the quoted value is very wrong. All answers from first to fourth are wrong. Answers five to seven are reasonable in numbers and units. In general, the energy density of pressurized hydrogen or liquid hydrogen is higher than that of lithium-ion batteries. I think that ChatGPT has not yet learned enough data about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. However, in the technical data distributed by automobile companies, there are many statements that battery cars are far superior, but ChatGPT has an objective view of hydrogen cars. Such car companies like Volkswagen and Benz are also developing hydrogen cars. It was a very strange and fun experience when I used ChatGPT. If you have time, I recommend you ask about the issues you are interested in and experience them. Thank you for watching. Audrey Choice spoken so far.